Hello? Hello, teacher. Hi, class. How are you today? Yes. How are you, class? Can you hear me? Yes, teacher, I listen. Okay. So only Miguel can hear me. Okay, so only me, nobody can hear me then, correct? Okay, voy a reiniciar la máquina si no me escuchan. Espérenme un minuto. Si le escuchamos, teacher. Okay, thank you, Katia. Es que le digo porque nadie me responde. Entonces solo veo caras. Sorry, no, it's okay. Sorry. Be, be, Sorry. Be, estoy viendo como seis caras y yo, hello, can you hear me? Nadie me contesta. Es mm -hmm. que no llegaba el botón. <laughs> hey, Miguel, are you in a bus? Yes, teacher. No, oh, okay. It's, where are you? Take care, take care. Very well. Where are you? Fine, teacher. No, in where are Apopa, you? In Apopa. Okay. Is it raining in Apopa in this moment? Yes, it's uh, raining for Apopa uh, in Plaza, Plaza Mundo, Apopa. Okay. There is a Plaza Mundo in Apopa? No, it's in the in the bus. Uh, uh, what do you say is al, al lado de Plaza Mundo? Next to. Next to? No, but I, 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 I thought, I thought Plaza Mundo was only Soyapango. Whoa, in the no, Popa too, teacher. No, Popa. Oh, okay. When? Always? No. How oh, the, the year 2022? Oh, okay, that's 20, why. No, 20. So it's very recent. It's one or two years. Very recent, teacher. Oh, okay. I, yeah, I didn't know that. I, I thought that uh, um, Unicentro was only Soya Pango, Soya Bronx. Teacher, by uh, my, it's possible he don't pay the electric light. Miguel. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And he, he is getting Wi Fi from the bus. Yes. Ah, Miguel. Ah. Okay. So I see, oh, there's JJ. I see Mr. Miguel Lara. I see Sara Martin. I see them connected. I don't know if they are there. I see Marielos, Maritza, Argueta. Dear teacher. There you go, Miguel. Uh, there's Sara. Yes, I'm here. There's Mayra. Good. All right. So how was your Wednesday class? It was kind of complicated because of the rain. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I imagine that, that that could be a little complicated. There was a lot of, tra of traffic. It's true. There was a lot of traffic. That's true. 
Okay, let me see. Let me open, let me open. Let me see, where is the... Let me see, where is the presentation? Let me open the platform. So remember we were doing present perfect and present perfect continuous yesterday, we were practicing that, correct? Yes. So what is the difference? Who can tell me the difference? Yes, the present continuous is when the action in the moment and the verb final with ing and present perfect is when I can use Active in the past and action in the present. I think you are maybe 70 or 75% correct because at the beginning you said present perfect progressive is an action active in the present. That is present continuous. It's not present perfect progressive or continuous. So remember, Present perfect is an action. You were right there. Present perfect is an action that started in the past, continues to the present. Correct? Yes. So present perfect continuous is an action that started in the past in continuous form and continues to the present in continuous form. <laughs> I don't understand the difference. Do you understand present perfect? Yes, teacher. Uh, I is is hidden with present perfect. Continuous is I understand. I don't don't understand the difference. What is the difference is that the action is active, it's in progress. For example. Imagine I am drinking beer. Yes. Imagine there is a party and I am drinking beer. The party was at seven and you come to the party at 10. I am very happy. I am, hey, Miguel, what's up? Miguel, come here, come here, Miguel. And, and you're going to see what's wrong with the teacher. Somebody, he has been drinking since one in the afternoon. So I started the, I started drinking at one in the afternoon and I have continued drinking till now. So the difference Miguel is that the action is in progress. When, you, when it's present perfect, the progress really is not important. Oh. Like I have lived in Apopa 25 years. That means that you started to live in Apopa 25 years ago and you still live in Apopa 25 years ago. That is a simple present perfect. But present perfect continuous is the same thing. The only difference is that the action is important, that the action is, is active now. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you very well. Enrique Hernandez, are you there? You see, that's the problem. Por eso que en Safor dice, pongan cámaras, pongan cámaras. No sabemos si están ahí o no. Ya me va, ya me va a decir. Hi, teacher, I'm here, my teacher. Okay, you see, he's not there. <laughs> teacher. Yes, Milton. Teacher, question. It's a good example if I say I bought a car last week and now it's been, I, I have been nice drive, drive it. 
I have been driving it. I have been driving it. Okay. For a week. It, yes, because it, you started driving your car last week and you're still driving your car. Okay. The yes. last, but he is a, a present in continuous, in progress. Present perfect continuous. Present perfect continuous. Yes, who has brackets in the classroom? Does anyone have brackets? Brackets is a very good example of present perfect continuous because I think brackets is five years, right? It's two, three, or five years. Yes. So imagine I see you, oh, you have brackets. Yes, I have been using brackets for three years now. Mm, yeah. so the, have, the, uh, the present with the continuum progress because uh, it's for three or, or for uh, five years. Yes, okay, yes. Yes, but remember class, um, okay, we have to understand what is a present continuous and a present perfect. You have to understand those two separately. If you do not understand those two, you will not, I promise you, you will not understand present perfect continuous. Because present perfect continuous is two tenses, present perfect and present continuous. What is present continuous? The action is happening right now. Good, the action is happening, the action is in progress in this moment as we speak. That's very easy, right? What is present perfect? The action is an action in the past in the present. Exactly. So the action started in the past, continues to the present. Now let's mix the present continuous. So present continuous is the action started in the past actively and continues to the present actively. Do you have babies? Yes. You know, sometimes when you come home, you say el niño y la niña, hijo, la ha estado durmiendo cinco horas. They have been sleeping for five hours. Exactly. For five hours, present perfect. He has been sleeping for five hours. The action continues. Yes, and the action is in this moment, the in if si voy cuarto él, oh he is sleeping. <laughs> the action is in continuous form. But when I ask the mother, wow, he's sleeping. Oh yes. He has been sleeping for five hours. <gasps> wow, wake him up. He will not sleep at night. Okay? Okay. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Who's not here today? Who's always here? Marce is not here. Wait, we did this yesterday. <laughs> Hello, Nelsie. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Very good. Where do you live? I live in Ciudad Arce. Okay, and imagine. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Imagine I call you in this moment. Okay. Imagine I call you and you pick up and you're like this. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Because you, you have your Bluetooth phone, right? I said, hi, Nancy. What are you doing? 
I'm running because you're doing exercise. Yeah. Uh, yes. Oh, and I said, oh, no, no, no. Then I'll call you later. No, 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 no. What do you want? Man, you sound tired. How long have you been running? I have been running uh, for, for the two hours. For two hours. Oh, my God. Good. <laughs> yes. No, because, you know, some people don't do that. Some people don't like to stop when they start running. Yes. <laughs> That's happened to me. I don't run, but I call people and they pick up the phone. <laughs> Get it. What are you doing? I'm running. Okay, I'll call you. No, no, no. What do you want? S stop. No, no, I, I don't want to stop. I can't stop. Get it. No, I'll call you later. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> so that means Nelsie started running at six in the past. Two, the past is two hours ago. She started running at six and she is still running. So Nelsie has been running for two hours. Okay. Let me see, Mr. Jacko. Are you there, Mr. Jacko? Hello, teacher. Good, good evening. Okay. Uh, imagine Katya is crying in this moment. Why? <laughs> I don't know, but I called her at seven and she was crying. So how long has she been crying? Okay. Yeah, uh, okay. Uh, he, no. He, she, she has been crying um, probably um, um, <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why. I, I gave you the answer. Okay. Um, because I told you, look, Katia's crying. You said, why? What happened? I don't know. I called her at seven and she was crying. And she's still crying. So how long has she been crying? Okay. Uh, she uh, she uh, I I I call I call No no answer my idiot. question. How long has she been crying? Mm, she cr she has been crying since 7 7 p.m. <laughs> Very good. Excellent. Y sabes que dice, dice otra respuesta que no me esperaba, because I, I thought you were going to say, she has been crying for one hour, which is correct. And okay. you too, she has been crying since seven, which is correct too. Very good. Thank you, Tishan. <laughs> All right, JJ. Hello, JJ. Good evening, Hello. Hello. Look, poor Miguel, he's in the bus. And he got off his work at five and he's still in a popa. How long has he been riding the bus? Uh, he has riding um, about three hours. Okay, remember, present perfect. Yes, he has been riding. He has been riding for three the hours. Bus. Yeah, for three hours. three hours. Eso se le hace un bus. Ando en bus. In, in English, you say ride a bus. Montar un bus. Okay. All right, very good. Milton. Tell me. Your, you have children, correct? Yes, two. How old is the biggest? Uh, 35 years old. She she has 35 years old. She is 35 years old. She is. Okay, yes. she is. Yes, she is. Yes, yes. Kill me, she is. No, it's okay. Class, do you know why is she is and not she has? Do you know why? How old are you, Sarah? I'm 32 years old. I am 32. Why I am and no I have? Do you know why? 
Yeah, because it's my, it's so yo, <laughs> in Spanish, um, yo tengo, o sea, yo soy 32 años. Because it's an actually. I don't know, no, re, I don't remember it is. I'm going to give you an yo explanation. Yo soy 32. Ah, 32, yo soy, yo soy 32. Okay, kind of. Who knows why is I am 32 and no, I have 32. Be maybe because have is when you have something, you can touch something, or I think. Because have is for object or material things, no? Okay, let's do one thing. Before the person, no? No, forget have, forget have in this moment. Where do you work, Miguel? I go in text to field teacher. Okay, good. Remember that he said I work in text to field. Thank you, Miguel. Marielos, where do you live? I live in Santa Ana. Very good. Thank you. Maritza, what time do you wake up every morning? I wake up at 5.30. Every morning? Every morning. Okay, what does Miguel, Marielo, and Maritza have in common in their answers? Listen to this. Miguel said, I work in blah, 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 blah. Marielo <laughs> said, I live in... Blah, 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 blah. Maritza said, I wake up at blah, 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 blah. What is the pattern right there? What is the pattern? Simple present. Simple question. What is after I? Tercera persona. Wait, wait, wait. Who said a verb? After I, alguien dijo el verbo, yes. After yes. I, you say a verb. I live, I dance, I like. Okay? Do you understand? Yes. Okay, now let's do I am. Katia, get, finish the sentence. I am. I am uh, the age teacher. I am what? Uh, the age. No, 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 give me any any example. I am happy, I am sad. I, I, mm, I am happy. I am happy. Good. Mayra? I am teaching right now. Are you married? Yes. Yes, what? Yes, I am. I am what? Mm, for seven no, no, years. No. Yes, I am what? Give me the complete sentence. Yes, I am what? I am married. Yes, I am married. Yes, I am married. Good. Nancy, are you married? No, I'm not married. I'm single. I am single. Okay, so let's go back. Katia said, I am happy. Mayra said, I am married. Nelsi said, I am single. ¿Cuál es el patrón ahí después de I am? The, the verb to be. An adjective. An adjective. After I am, you say an adjective. Mm. Not a verb. This is very important. Listen. After I am, you say an adjective. Not a verb. Mm -hmm. I am happy. No, I am work. I am single. No, I am live in Santa Ana. No. Do you understand? After I am, what's next? An adjective. You see, solo is I. What's next? The verb. A verb. A verb. So if you say I, 
automatically next is a verb. I live, I love, I like, I eat, I go. But if you say I am, what's next immediately? An adjective. An adjective. Thank you. I am happy. I am sad. I am 32 adjective. years old. All the time, teacher. Yes. What is the adjective? Age. No, the adjective is old. Porque Sara dijo, I am 32. It's correct. But that's an incomplete sentence because the complete sentence is, I am 32 years old. Ahí está el adjective, old. Por eso se dice, I am y no I have. Aunque soy feo. Yes. Clearly. Yeah. Aunque soy feo, se, literalmente están diciendo, yo tengo 32 años de vieja. <laughs> yes. That's, that's how it yeah. sounds in English. So, that, that's it's, the difference. It's very, very offensive, in... teacher. I'm sorry? It's offensive to say. No, yeah, in, in, Eng yes. in English, no. In <laughs> yes. Spanish, maybe. I know. I'm kidding, teacher. No, I know. I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I but... have a, an, a, how is it called? Anecdota in English. Anecdote. Uh, anecdote. I have anecdote. When I was young, mm -hmm. I, I took a quiz, mm -hmm. uh, an English quiz, and it was orally, and the person who in interview with who was interviewing me asked me how old are you and I and I heard that he told me how are you and I say I am fine thank you yes that's a very common mistake yes everybody it was yeah. very funny but eso 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 va mucho and remember what I telling you in comprehension porque se digo hi Irena sit down so um how old are you? I am fine, thank you. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. How old are you? <laughs> and I, I just have my the the knowledge that I I learned in in, in basic in tercer ciclo basic. Yeah. But no, it's very funny. Today is very commonly because I have a classmate in my academy. Um, all the time. He uh, he answer was in the question, how old are you? Is I'm fine, thank you. It's uh, <laughs> what what happened, my friend? Yeah. Yeah. Um, all my classmates cracking up. Yes, it, it happens. <laughs> it happens because mm -hmm. it's all with the time. It's all with yes. <laughs> yes. Um. Okay, class. So. Going back to simple present, when you say I, you say a verb. When you say I am, you say an adjective. But you can never say I happy. You say I am happy. You can't say I am work. You say I work. OK? OK, teacher. OK, teacher. OK, teacher. Okay, teacher. Miguel has been walking in the dark for Sorry, like teacher. 20 minutes. Oh no, he's in his house now. He is in. All right, he is in. In my house. Your, your home's safe, good. Okay, so let's watch, let's do the... Today's Wednesday, so if we finish today and tomorrow, so Friday, I'm sorry, today, oh yeah, today's Wednesday, tomorrow. Yeah, let's finish this today so tomorrow we can have a free day, like um, to practice all the tenses. Okay, so number one here, many residents have been. Many 
Many residents have been homeless ever since last month's storm. Do you know what is homeless? Yes. Uh, yeah. Indigentes. Yes. I have a question. Without. I have a question. Exactly. ¿Qué significa es, que es indigente? Um, I think in, que pide dinero oh, en la calle. Person, a person who lives in the street. Lives in the street. In condition street. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't have enough resources. It says don't uh, have the a house that... for life. Okay, look. Okay, le voy a decir por qué dice. Indigentes, la indigencia es aquella situación en la que se encuentra una persona, un grupo de personas que no pueden satisfacer sus necesidades básicas. Es decir, que se ubican por debajo de la línea de pobreza. Ok, good. Pero les digo eso porque homeless is a person with no house. Obviously, that person is very poor. Yes. Pero yo siento que indigente va más a. I como ustedes decían, como andan pidiendo. Lugar. Indigente que carece de lo necesario para vivir o que lo tiene con escasez. Ok, good. Yeah. But it's like homeless. Yes, it is a homeless. Because the word homeless is only a person that has no home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But let me give you an example. But it is extremely poor. No, but let me give you an example. My my cousin, my cousin lives in Colorado. And because it's a super barato to vivir in esos lugares in the Estados Unidos, except California. But there was a fire in the house, in, in the area. And he had a beautiful house. And all the houses went with the fire. Yes? Mm -hmm. So my cousin was homeless for two weeks. <laughs> he became he became um, homeless. Yes. Now in this in this it was a little different because I don't know if they had shelter or he paid a hotel, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But in that moment, él dijo. Si lo hubiera dicho en español, no hubiera sido correcta la palabra indigente. No. Porque hubiera dicho, hey, he estado indigente dos semanas. Y la mm -hmm. gente... Pobrecito, necesita ayuda. Y él no, no, o sea, tengo mi trabajo, todo me va bien, estoy en un hotel cinco estrellas. Pero lo que digo es que hay no home. What is the, the, the meaning of homeless in English, teacher? Home, no house. No, the, the definition, do you have the definition? Let me see, homeless. Es persona que no tiene un lugar donde vivir y duerme en la calle o en establecimientos benéficos. A person without a home, therefore typically living on the streets. Una persona que vive en la calle. Y ahí típicamente duerme en las calles. Ok. It's una a, it's una persona poor. sin casa. Yeah. Hay vagabundo. Typically. Pero ahí dice typically, yeah. Okay. All right. So, where am I? Okay. So many residents have been homeless ever since last, oh, okay, this is an example, look. Ever since last month's storm. Mm -hmm. So there was a big storm and no houses. Number two, who can do number two? Me. Okay, please do it. Let me see. Read it. Uh, they have been staying with relatives while their homes are being repaired. They have they have been staying, right? Mm -hmm. Good. Number three. Who can do number three? Nope, only one person, please. Sure, please do. Thank you. 
all those crews have been repairing the subway signals all week. What does this mean? All those crews. Multitudes. Mm. A group of uh, people. Yes, a crew is a group of people. If it's in work, you have the um, quadrilla. Sí, como la cuadrilla. For example, cuando hay un fuego, van, van los bomberos, van los topos, van la policía, every different crews, right? Mm -hmm. So you see, this is the police crew, this is the fireman crew, it's a group of people. Okay. Con un propósito. O una, o una labor. Although crews, aunque cru, gente, have been repairing the subway signals all week. Do you know what is a subway? No, it's a restaurant. Ah, oh, <laughs> no, no, mentiras, mentiras. No, no. no. Subway, yes. The is, subway is... did the day. <laughs> Pero saben que de hecho, por eso le pusieron así a los sándwiches, porque el pan parece un tren del subway. Ya, okay. yeah, por ahí cerca se lo inventaron, entonces la persona siempre, <risa> sí, se inspiró en, el, el, en la forma del, del subway, el, el tren. Y así le puso el pan, el pan completo, obviamente. Uh -huh. El subway. Okay. Number four, they still have not solved. Not solved. They, have have not solved. Not they still have not solved the problems with long delays. Police have been guarding. Have been guarding. Have guarding. Been guarding. 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 Workers have been plowing. Have been plowing. Plowing. Do you know what plowing is? No, teacher. Me no. Plowing is when you remove the snow. Like, mm. Okay. That's new for me. Mm -hmm. It's like remove. Yes. Okay. I think that is it's guarding. Guarding, sorry. Yo me estoy haciendo de léxico. I think it's in my family. Sometimes the older I'm getting, I'm getting dyslexic. Some, I have that problem with letters. But but you know what the good thing is? Hoy tengo auto, autocorrect. <laughs> yes, yeah, like in the computer or in, when you're chatting, you have autocorrect. Imagine the poor people in the 80s or 70s. Yes. All right, let me see what's next. In this class, participants will practice using vocabulary to talk about news, events, and stories. Um, Irena nos dijo que tenía una anécdota, an anecdote. But in English, se puede decir mejor, hey, I have a story. Okay. Mm -hmm. Más fácil decir, hey, I have a story. Thank you, teacher. Or you can say, hey, I have a funny story. Mm -hmm. Or, hey, I have a strange mm -hmm. story. Or, you know, you can put an adjective before. Okay. In the news. <clears throat> Do you watch news on TV? Do you read the newspaper? The following words will help you speak a little bit better when talking about news. 
How would you define each of these news events? Epidemic, famine, hijacking, kidnapping, natural disaster, political crisis, rebellion, recession, robbery, scandal. Discuss the questions, ask follow-up questions and add extra information. How closely do you follow the news? What kind of stories interest you? What do you think was the most important news story in the last few years? Do you think stories about sports or celebrities count as real news? In class, let's talk about a relevant news you watched or heard today. Okay, can you tell me about a relevant news that you watch or heard today? I can tell you one. And um, <laughs> it's like, oh my God, I can't believe, I can't believe what, what I am reading. And it's not, I am not, I, I heard on the news, I watched the news today, actually. And um, I am not defending the president, I am not. But I saw that a political party, un partido politico, wants to give money to the family of the prisoners. In the misarlos. <laughs> And I don't know that I was in shock, like, so they want to give money to the family of, of the gangsters. So for me, that was, uh, I don't know, it was. It's a crazy. Do you know that expression S M H? Because okay, I think they put it O M G. Oh my God! Mm -hmm. This was a S M H moment. Mm -hmm. Do you know what is S M H? Oh my God! No, it's this. Look, I I was reading. I was watching the news like this. <laughs> Shake my head. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about you? Do you have any relevant news? Mm, no, I'm just uh, so something about the inflation. I don't know if, if how it's inflation. In inflation. inflation. Okay. And that is a star in Europe, in Europe, and we have about six, six point eight, something like that, or infl inflation, inflation at El Salvador, and wow. it, and it will be growing. Is correct? Yes. Okay. I saw too that the euro is now the same with the dollar, correct? Uh, no. Um, yesterday it was uh, the euro, it was a uh, 1.040, something like that. But today I, I didn't see if it's, it's equal as the dollar or less. Oh, okay, good. All right, good. Thank you. Good story. Nice. Oh, okay. I don't have a news for you, but I have an interesting story that happened to me today. Remember, I told you I am an interpreter. Uh, I am an interpreter in, in, in the day. Yes. Today, no, I had my first experience con una persona no binaria. With a non-binary person. No binary? What does mean that? What is the meaning? That is a person. No binary. No binary is like this person, his name was Omar. Pero no quería que se refirieran a, a, a él como él o ella, sino que ella. 
Ah, oh, really? Yes. This is wow. a good, uh, this is a new, I knew about those kind of person last Sunday teacher and I was like a, a surpriser. Yes. Well, I feel, it, I feel it, totally ignorant person about oh, that. Yes. Yes, in the United States, this is heavy, man. This is a big, big trend, moda. But right. it's okay. I mean, it's okay. But the problem is Spanish is bien machista. ¿Se acuerdan que les dije que el español mm -hmm. siempre se refiere mm -hmm. al, al hombre, al masculino, al él? Mm -hmm. Decimos mis tíos, mis amigos, mis abuelos. <laughs> And this type of people, they don't want me to say pronouns he or she. Siempre es they. Mm. Like, I, I had to be professional and I had to say, okay, they. <laughs> Inside my head is, I don't care. You're a man. Biologically, you are a man. You may say yo mismo, yeah? You know. I don't care you, you if you feel you're a woman, a dog, a monkey, whatever. If you're happy, you're happy. <laughs> but by a lot, biologically, you are a man. But uh, so how today, did what, you call him, teacher? I oh. was I was lucky that he was transferred yeah. because that person called the wrong number. He oh, called okay. the hospital, but he called he called. Um, accounting office and he wanted to call emergency okay so he had to hang up and call again but uh -huh. when i asked him hello my name is david i will be your interpreter oh hola mi amor david voy a ser intérprete en español inglés hoy por favor le pido solo me hable okay uh, what is como se llama omar okay señor omar eh, no soy señor disculpe omar sí pero quiero que te no te refieras a mí uh, como él o ella <laughs> <laughs> no, and, funny. no, but you know, I mean, in the United sure. States, it's, it's very popular. But this was my first experience, like. But teacher, I, I don't know. Teacher, well, but the but the uh, but the language English is only have a two person for she and he. No. Uh, yes, uh, uh, but but the problem is, like, for example, in the United States, universities are accepting. I think 22 different types of pronouns. Ya no solo hay he, she. Now when you feel a uh, um, what are you? Male, female, or other? Que es hombre, mujer, o otro? Yes. My, my sister told, my sister lives in Las Vegas. And in Las Vegas, in, in el certificado, the nacimiento, certificate, there's no sex of the baby, only the name. Oh my goodness. Then yes. they might call it. it. Excuse me? It. No, the baby was born on Monday. No, sé qué. The baby was. The baby was. Oh, my goodness. So, if in the future, she and he decide the, the, your, your, your sex. <laughs> no, I, I think. I think they. That's, that's the debate in this moment because. I mean, that's not going to stop, you know? I, and I understand if you're a man and you think you're a woman, et cetera, et cetera, but imagine, okay, Mr. Carlos, vaya señor Carlos, no, no, soy señorita. Okay, señorita, <laughs> tiene <laughs> cancer de páncreas. I know. De prostata. I, <laughs> I think that that is very, very weird because they didn't give a value no no yes it is it, it, but but the, the 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 thing is that this is going to become legal in the future yeah. yes i know but so, i'm i i, I think the people agree. is getting crazy teacher oh yes yeah. they are but it, it was yeah. funny because i called my supervisor you know and i said hey i have a i have a like like you know swear mm -hmm. that i had to transfer the call but and i told my boss what do i do in that situation Teacher, a, okay. a question. Teacher, in my in my work, uh, uh, sometimes uh, no. Uh, one time ago, uh, uh, speak with the human resources, mm -hmm. and 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 she and she told me, 
when uh, if it's easy, it's Jacko, you are frozen. Yeah. But you know, you know the problem, I think, that all the famous people are making this more popular. Yeah. Because, for example, I was watching last week that Jennifer Lopez in a mm -hmm. concert, she introduced her daughter como they. Yeah. My daughter is now a they. Ya no es she, ya no es he, oh yes, ella. Uh -huh. It's no binary. Just no binary. Elway. You Ben Affleck, oh, también my daughter is. Oh, God. <laughs> so I, I think, think it's our responsibility as parents. <laughs> yes, but anyways, I told my, because you know, like for example, as a teacher and as an interpreter, this will cause a problem for me in the future. Because imagine this person today, his name was Omar and he did not want to be called a man. <laughs> Y peor, mm -hmm. sus partes no tenían sexo tampoco. Mm -hmm. Ajá. O sea, no podía I decir know. el dedo. <laughs> ¿Cómo decía? Ay, no. I don't know. Tienen un su palabra. Ye, like. Um, no. We're know. really crazy people. Por ejemplo, I'm so sorry. su tío. Mm -hmm. Ajá, porque no solo él no tenía sexo. También él toda, toda la, la familia. Tiene, yes. Su no. tío es su tío. The people is really yes. crazy. Yes. Pero so yo siento que allí es más violación. Yo siento es que es más violación a los English. derechos de los que no somos así, porque toda la vida hemos hablado igual. O sea, no sé por qué tenemos que cambiar. Yes. En español, si mi madre estuviera en este mundo, para ella estuvieran buenas porque ella les hubiera dado un par de hinchazos. Oh, yeah. No, pero hoy, hoy me salió bien, bien tonta esa persona. Yo, ok, sí. but I have to respect, but my problem was. Because of my translation. No, I don't know. I don't know. But the problem is because what I do is legal, legal. Palabra por palabra. So I don't know. I will tell you next time I have a situation like this. Yes. But we but you know, my, my boss told me, hey, you know what? That's good because we have never thought about that. Uh -huh. So now we will you have to look at Google. Yes, to no, we have something. to we we have to work and and think, okay, what, what will we do? Mm -hmm. Will we, depending on the law, mm -hmm. if the law mm -hmm. says, forget it, Omar is a he, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. se no he, me cuelga, okay, pero me lavo la manos. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that was my story, my strange story today. <laughs> really? I, had, I spoke with a person who was not a man or a woman. He didn't know what. You wow. have to use what? language, inclusive. Inclusive language, yes. Inclusive language. All right, yes. what about you? Do you, have, do you know any, any interesting news today, international or national? Uh, in August will be uh, on holidays. <laughs> That's interesting for me. For, for another news is the war in, um, in Russia. Well, what happened? Is the war still continuing? Yes, continuing. Oh, okay. Mm. I I will never understand that war because I don't see I don't see the news of people dying. I, I, you know, when we think of war, we think da, da, da. maybe there is a conflict. Yes, there is a conflict, but I don't know up to what point is it a war. But I don't know. All right. The next, the next. I'm crying about the history. A woman, he he put her baby in a um, in a carriola carriage um, carriage, and because another person who take her baby for travel another country. Yes, that's that's sad. Yeah, I'm crying for the for the history. Yes, it's true. Oh, you know what? I saw a video that made me cry. No, it didn't make me cry, but it was rats. I don't know. Have you seen that video in, in, in the internet? Do you like rats? I don't know. What is that? Teacher? Ratas, rats, the uh, animal. No, I don't like it. Me too. I hate rats. But there's this video. 
of the mama rat. I think it was raining in the street and the mama rat had like three children, three baby rats. And you see the mama rat jumping in the water, gets one baby, puts them back and she jumps in the water and she saves the three babies. Mm -hmm. And mama rat se fue. Mm -hmm. oh, she it's died. like, oh man. Los dejó abandonados. No, se la llevó la corriente. Oh no. She saved her babies, but. but so I oh, promised wow. myself I will never kill a rat again. Mm -hmm. I, if I catch a rat, I will let her go, but outside. Se la va a aventar a mi vecina loca. <laughs> the neighbor with the cats. <laughs> the neighbor with the, the cats. No, because you know, <laughs> yes, that, that's the problem. The cats might eat the rat. Has cats. <laughs> I know. Yes. What about you? Any interesting stories in Santa Ana, San Vicente, Ciudad Arce? In the industry? No, nothing relevant today. <laughs> Okay. Sorry, Santa Ana, we... Oh wait, in Santa Ana, are do you have the, um, the national party. holiday, the national yes. parties, right? No, yes. no, some national local parties. Local, yes, local. Local celebrations. Okay, local celebrations. Do you have a yes. problem because, like, July, it's always a rainy month. Yes. yes. So d does that cause a problem in Santa Ana because the the local Celebrations of Santana are always in July and it's always raining. But the people go to the party. <laughs> yes. Okay. When I lived under, in San Miguel. Under the rain. When I lived in San Miguel, I lived in San Miguel maybe two years, like 10 years ago. Those people really party. They party crazy in November, <laughs> like really. Every day of November, there's a party. Well, every day there's a celebration in the Roosevelt, in the main street. But there's always like a mini party, like in Colonia, no sé qué. Blah, blah, you know, every day. And, and it's always full. And the day of the event of the carnival is nice. I went. Yeah, I, I went and I had, I remember it was Nietzsche. I don't know, but there were some international groups. It's cool. Nietzsche no Hosa. No, Nietzsche, the salsa group. Nietzsche. Okay. And the group Nietzsche. Yes. The Nietzsche's group. In they San bring Mi international uh, artists. Yes, they do. They do. Yes. I am from San Miguel. Oh, and yeah, you it's are. A very, yes, yes it's, it's, it's very nice November because yes, it's it very is. happy. <laughs> Where, the whole, the whole, the whole month. Marisa, where do you live in? Do you live in San Salvador? Yes, I live in Santa Tecla now. Oh, let me tell you. Let me tell you a story, class. Except Marisa, because she might know. Class, have you ever eaten panes migueleños? No. Yes. Have, have you seen that restaurant, panes migueleños? Yes. In San Salvador. Yes. Yes. Okay, so. Because the story is on the planet of San Miguel, right? So one day, the, the first time I went to San Miguel, that I stayed there two years, I asked everybody, mire, okay, hoy si quiero probar los famosos panes migueleños. And they say, what? The panes migueleños? What panes? Panes migueleños in San Salvador, they're very famous. No, aquí no hay panes. Oh, okay. So one day, my class, they tell me, hey, teacher, vamos a cenar. Okay, good. ¿Qué quiere? Panes. Me dijeron, vamos a comer panes. Okay, good. Y eran panes con gallina. Yo, hey, estos son los panes migueleños. And me dijeron, no, they're not. They're just panes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were just panes. Everybody sells them. So. I remember when I, when I went to San Miguel, I, I ate pupusas with ketchup and, yeah. <laughs> and uh, mayo. But it's very ugly. <laughs> no, I liked it. I, I really liked it. The, the I, liked, I liked them too. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't know I why not. You know, I always imagine, why not a pupuseria 
why, you know, just maybe un bote, you know, like, hey, curtido migueleño, you know. In San Miguel, they, they sell the two types of, yes, of uh, curtidos. Vamos a ver, Marisa, ¿qué tan migueleña? ¿Sabe que es cocomal? Yes, I know. Okay, good. There is no cocomal here in San Salvador. I don't know why. She, she dies the last uh, the last year, the, the person who makes the cocomal. The died. Niña Rosita died. Yes, she dies by COVID. Oh, no, that's sad. Class, cocomal is one of the best inventions in the world. Yes, it's very, it's very. very it's, and what is? Check this out. Listen to this. But so you go. Wait, I'm, I'm going to explain. Listen, you go and you ask for one. In that time, it was one dollar. I don't know how much it is now. So they give you a bag. And with cocoa. Milk. And they put cornflakes inside the bag. Como de fresco, and they put bananas. So they give you the bag. With a spoon and a straw. Pajilla. You know, so then you can walk and drink it. And when you finish drinking, you can eat it. <laughs> it was really, it was the perfect breakfast. I remember where I, I, where I used to work, I lived two blocks from there. And in front of my house, there was cocomal and that was my perfect breakfast. Hey, un cocomal. So, you know, I was drinking. Patenticémoslo aquí en San Salvador. Yes, I don't know why somebody hasn't invented that here. It's a very, especially like in the universities. Imagine that is a very good breakfast. Yes. Cornflakes, the, bananas. <laughs> but all the, the, the refrescos are very, are very delicious. The, the other type of refresco. The only make. thing, the only thing I didn't like about San Miguel was the chuco. <laughs> that was the only, nah. Chuco is pink and sweet. Yes. And do you like too. the tamales? Tamales de Lope? Oh, yes. They are he different was. from here. Yes, they are. But I love San Miguel. But it's really <laughs> hard. Like the, the people from San Miguel <laughs> yes. eat the tamales with milk. Is yes. this true? Yes. Okay. Oh, and, and you I, know, I like you know, but the milk is it's without sugar without sugar is okay. a, 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 a cow milk milk mm -hmm. mm -hmm. fresh milk <laughs> i i don't know i don't know if it's only san miguel but i remember pollo campero they sell tortillas huh yes yeah, but I don't know if the if other pollos camperos do that but i remember in san miguel they used to sell tortillas when began when began in San Salvador, uh, no, the people, the people out of the, out of the restaurant sold tortillas. Mm. All right, cool. But, but no, no, that the restaurant, just the people in, are out. Oh, no, now, now in the restaurant. Oh, Campestre too. Ah, uh, yes. yes. In San Salvador too, for, for the breakfast, they offer, do you want bread or tortillas? Yes. Oh, really? Oh, cool. Yes. What I like about Pollo Campero is the coffee. They have good coffee. The Pollo Campero or the Pollo Campestre? No, Pollo Campero. Pollo Cam because I am I am a, a coffee lover. I really love coffee, but okay. I... So people always ask me, so for you, which is good coffee? Like Starbucks, I don't like. But if you ask me what is a good coffee, Mr. Donut has good coffee. And how do you say the, the coffee is very strong? Strong. Strong. Yes. Yes. You know, Antonios, one last thing I noticed about San Miguel, and this I really hated. This part I really hated. Everybody from San Miguel, they were born there. They studied there. They graduated there. They lived there. They got married there. And every day they say, Que calor, brother. <laughs> and you see that. It's like, you know, shake my head, like, really, man? <laughs> because, yes, it, every Migueleño tells you, Que calor, but it's like, really? It's never been different. <laughs> I remember I remember my first class was at seven in the morning. So I used to take a shower at five in the morning. It was the only time in the day 
that it was not cold. It was cool. It was cool. And when I walk outside and I see all the people taking the bus in sweaters. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. Yes. Okay, class, miren, mañana vamos a algo interesante. Vamos a practicar todos los tiempos simples. Okay. Okay, okay very good. Simple present, simple past, simple future. Y vamos a hacer eso, simple present. People in San Miguel eat pupusas with mayonesa curtido. At simple present. I will, I will explain the difference between simple present, present progressive, and present perfect. Por eso le dije, ¿se acuerdan que le dije lo de lo una vecina que me vino a buscar que, ay, que estoy estudiando el presente. Y yo, ¿cuál presente? El presente, ¿cuál? <laughs> present perfect, present continuous, or simple present. It's totally different. Entonces, mañana, ya me di cuenta, vamos a estudiar bien los simples y después los, pas los perfectos, ¿ok? Okay, teacher. Okay. So, okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. See you. All right. Thank you very much. I'll see you tomorrow. See you thank tomorrow. you. Tomorrow. Good night, Bye. 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 Bye.